All right, so Jonathan Major's trial gets pushed back yet again. What's going on here? We're going to break it down in this video. So last month, they had actually set September 6th, so today, for Jonathan Major's trial in which he'd move forward in defending himself against domestic violence charges. Realistically, today, they should have gotten to pretrial motions, jury selection, and, you know, picking a jury in a case like this, especially given that you have a famous actor involved and might take a couple days, whereas in a normal domestic violence case, you should probably be able to get a jury picked in one day. Um, but one way or the other, we probably would have been getting to opening statements, say, by tomorrow or Friday. But now we're having a new trial date set yet again. The reality is trials get pushed back very routinely. This is not anything outside of the norm. You know, you can have a trial continued for all kinds of reasons. The lead detective in the case is now engaged in a homicide trial and so he's not going to be able to make it you might have a main officer um, in training and so no she can no longer make it maybe one of your main witnesses their mother died unfortunately and now you know they can't make it to the trial or there could be outstanding discovery issues and in some cases the parties are still trying to reach an agreement and so if the parties are close to reaching a deal and they just need a bit more time to resolve things then they might push a trial back for the purpose of continuing to uh, engage in negotiations and hope to reach a deal so you know that just goes to show that there are a lot of reasons why a trial can be continued but when you are appearing for the date that's set for trial you are going to answer up to the judge and let them know hey we're ready to proceed with trial or we need more time for X, Y, Z and reasons. And so in this situation, the DA actually did answer up ready for trial, meaning they're prepared and ready to go. Their witnesses are lined up. They have their exhibits. Their evidence is ready to go. Um, but it was actually the defense that said, hey, no, this case is not ready to go to trial. We still have outstanding discovery issues that need to be resolved. And so um, the last time that we we were uh, present on this case for um, trial call, it appeared that the DA was saying, hey, we're not quite ready yet. This time they said they're ready, but the defense said, no, you know, we still have outstanding discovery issues. The DA still owes us discovery. And so um, I imagine they might have put on the record what it was specifically that the DA needed to turn over. Um, but from the articles I've read, it, it hasn't listed specifically. But obviously, it's enough that the defense is saying, hey, we're not ready to go to trial until the DA turns over um, this outstanding discovery. And so in general, a reasonable amount of time before trial, the DA is supposed to turn over everything you know that ultimately relates to the subject matter of the case typically it's going to be at a minimum your police reports witness statements names and contact information of anyone who might have any sort of information regarding the charges or something to do with the defense. The DA also has to turn over photographs and videos. In a domestic violence case, you might have medical records if the person sought medical attention as a result of their injuries. The DA is obligated to turn over all this information to the defense. In the state of New York, apparently there's a certificate of compliance that must be filed indicating that, hey, the DA has met its discovery obligations and turned over everything to the defense. Now, the DA in this case did, in fact, file this certificate of compliance, but the defense apparently, you know, had issue with them filing that saying, no, 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 there are still issues outstanding that need to be resolved. So at this point, they've set September 15th as the new trial date. And it appears that this actually is not going to be when the trial moves forward, but rather it's going to be kind of a soft date in which, you know, the, the parties will then answer up, okay, are the discovery issues you know resolved on the 15th will be when they set the actual date so if you were thinking that you know they're going to move forward with trial in two weeks well that's just not the case unfortunately they're going to be setting a trial date on that day and so you know who knows it could happen in september but you know as time goes on you have a bunch of lawyers involved you have jonathan major's schedule you have the detectives and officers and whatever other witnesses you know it can be tricky um schedule dates so it could happen this month or it could be in October or November or you know realistically it could be next year so we'll see um, what happens in a couple of weeks but overall I mean I do like what the defense's approach has been thus far again uh, Major's attorney has come out from the beginning and said that 
her client is innocent and in fact he's the victim in this situation and they've taken it one step further and actually filed a police report against Jonathan Major's ex so basically going on the offensive there are a lot of situations where a guy gets arrested for domestic violence but his position is that he didn't actually do anything wrong and on the contrary it was his girlfriend or his wife who was the aggressor but you know Majors took it a step further and actually filed a police report against his ex and you don't typically see that that almost never happens but you have to respect the proactive offensive nature that they're taking um, in this situation Majors has every reason in this case to go on the offensive because he has lost so much as a result of these allegations and this case I really like the defense putting pressure on the DA as well you know at the end of the day the DA has the ethical obligations to turn over the discovery they haven't done so at least that's what the defense position is and they're not going to proceed to trial until the DA has met their ethical obligations so that's a solid move by the defense so we'll see what happens in a couple of weeks are we going to get a new trial date or might this case resolve I still believe at the end of the day this case should be dismissed as against Jonathan Majors I think the DA is going to have a difficult time getting Jonathan Majors ex-girlfriend back to the United States to New York where she could be subjected to arrest and again if the DA does not have an alleged victim if they do not have their main witness to the case they're going to have no other choice but to dismiss this case so we'll see what happens in a couple weeks we'll keep you posted thanks so much for watching be blessed we'll talk to you soon peace